Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about X rays, calculating wavelength of X rays. The energy of X rays is 1.989 times 10 power negative 14 joules. Given that the speed of light is 3 times 10 power 8 meters per second, and Planck's constant is 6.6 .6 times 10 power negative 34 joules second, find the wavelength of the X rays. So the first thing, we need to note that the energy of an electromagnetic radiation is given as the Planck's constant H times the frequency. But for this particular case, we are required to determine the wavelength and from the wave equation, speed or velocity is equal to the wavelength times the frequency of the radiation. But remember, we need to get lambda, which is the wavelength, and therefore we are going to replace f with this. So f, if we make f the subject for the wave equation, f becomes v over lambda. So in place of f in this equation here, we are simply going to have e is equal to h v over lambda. Now v is equal to 3 times 10 power 8 meters per second. The velocity of all electromagnetic radiations is equal to the velocity of light. That is, if you're told that the speed of light is 3 times 10 power 8 meters per second, that is the same for x-rays. X-rays being electromagnetic wave. Doing our substitutions, the energy should be equal to the Planck's constant, 6.6 .6 times 10 power negative 34 joules second. Multiply that by the velocity of light, that is 3 times 10 power 8. And then we divide that by lambda, and that should be equal to the energy. And the energy we already given here as 1.989 times 10 power negative 14 joules. In order to determine lambda, we will consider it from this point to this end, that equation. Lambda becomes, so we'll have to multiply 6.6 .6 times 10 power negative 34 times 3 times 10 power 8, all divided by 1.989 times 10 power negative 14. So when you work out this, from my calculator, I get the wavelength as 9.9548 times 10 power negative 12 meters. And that is the wavelength of the X-rays as it had been desired. With that, we come to the end of the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Oh,